talking to, we're talking on Longmont now. Test, 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 test. Had a little head, headphone adjustment there. Um, 280? Uh, yeah, so yeah. wind's 280, we're heading 280, we're gonna land on runway 29. And we'll go actually, we'll go a little bit further out and kind of lazily maneuver back in. Um, I think we could probably chop and drop it onto the runway in front of that guy, or we take a little bit more time and go in behind him. Cool, things are looking good. Alrighty. Uh, um, what was the thing again? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going down to 60, uh, or 6,000. Okay. Just joining the 45 left downwind runway 29. Uh, Cessna 6694. Six, six, okay. Uh, where is it? It's, uh, oh, okay. Okay. I'm here. Alright, 1 1 traffic says, uh, November 1. <laughs> okay. 6694 six, Echo. 1 1 traffic says, uh, November 6694 six, Echo joining the 45, uh, downwind, uh, long one. Yeah, 29. Oh, it's Longmont. Traffic, Scanning 284, Charlie Sierra. We're on a uh, two and a half mile final runway 29. Be a touch and go. Longmont. Charlie Sierra, we got you in sight. We'll follow behind you. Appreciate you. Okay, cool. So we're joining the downwind. We'd probably make our downwind turn here. Keep ourselves a healthy distance from the runway. That's uh, a mile, right? Yeah. The, you know, the I think the aim says like half a mile to a mile. A half a mile is a pretty tight pattern. Um, there's some planes I feel comfortable flying it in, but not every plane. But miles a lot, a lot more reasonable. We've got the landing got traffic right there. Yeah, I got them uh, So we got our sea gumps, car peat. Car pull that on. Gas. Yeah, it's we'll on both. Is on both. We got gas in the tanks. Undercarriage is down to welded. Make sure we lead it a half turn, so we'll rich in it a half turn. Power will go 1700. 1700, sure. Um, and we'll hold that nose up, let the airspeed bleed off, and we'll go 10 degrees of flaps. 10 degrees of flaps, sure. Yeah, cool. Charlie Sky, 284 Charlie Sierra, short final, 429, touch and go. I've got their 9 o'clock flash and strobe. Yep. And we can turn base here. Okay, turn base. We'll do Longmont traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, left base 29 Longmont. Skyhawk November 694 uh, Echo, entering base uh, 29 or Longmont. Wait. A bit more? Uh, yeah, let's go uh, a little bit more power out and we'll go 20 flaps. Alright, a little bit more and on the flaps. Yep. Yeah. A bit high. Just a touch. Okay. Um, we'll see the glide slope uh, indicator as we roll on to final. Oh. Cool, let's make our final turn here. We got the two bar VASI. Or touch high, but I'd way rather be high than low, especially at night. I agree. We have the touch and go traffic inside. They look like they're back off the runway again. Yeah, they're on the power. Okay. Cool. White over white. Cool. Um, we'll add just a little bit more flaps down. And we're, it looks like we're getting blown just a tiny bit from the north.
Good airspeed, good altitude. Yeah, just a little bit of power here. Cool, and we'll pull it uh, all the way idle. Landing's assured. Yep. And let's get back on center line a little bit. And keep the nose coming down. Squeeze it back, power all the way idle. That's all right. <laughs> Got flaps up, carb heats off. Full power. And 55, we'll just have you squeeze the stick back, squeeze right. the yoke back. 55. Cool. So sorry about that. No, 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 you're good, <laughs> you're good. Um, let's push the nose down just a little bit and climb a little um, flatter and a little faster. Sure. Maybe a 70 or so. We've got the crosswind traffic there. Yeah. And they're turning downwind. Um, no, yeah, so that was that was good. Um, <laughs> the, only, the only thing to work on is we'll just flare a little bit more gently. And it's tough. We gotta come pretty low to the ground. Like when we're sitting on the ground, we're sitting kind of at standing height. Right, like your head's about as high as it is. So, well, let's do a left, uh, left crosswind. Left crosswind. Looks like we're about 90 off of our 90 degrees off our runway. We're about 45 degrees from that point, so we'll turn that downward here. Back downward, sure. And we'll keep climbing to uh, six. 6,000 on the um, on the climb here, and then um, move that heading bug around on the bottom G5 to 290. 290, sure. 90. Nice. Cool, we're leveling out. We'll do a little bit of power reduction. Um, every time we do uh, a pitch change, we do pitch power trim. So we leveled off, we pulled the power back a little bit, and now, you know, trim as needed. Um, Midfield left downward, we've got our carb heat, or, or kind of our seat gums flow. We've got carb heat come on, gas is still good, undercarriage still down and welded. Mixture is set, power will go back to 1700. Yeah, there's, there's about 17, and then trim is needed. Yep. And then we'll add uh, 10 degrees of flaps. Um, I kind of try to shoot for like 80, 70, 60, the downwind base final sections, with yep. 10, 20, and 30 of flaps. Keep going downhill. Um, I'm gonna bring another notch of flaps in. There's 20. And the nice thing about having the bug is you can see at the 90 point. Yeah, yep, there's 90 and sh oh, there sure is. And I'll do another 10 flaps now. We're all in a final. You make a call. Longmont traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, final 29, Longmont. Skyhawk 9, Longmont, Skyhawk 94 Echo, uh, final 29, Longmont. Nice. Good. A little bit yeah, high. A bit, yeah, and a bit off. <laughs> yeah. Um, it just it just takes practice. Um, 
We're a little high, but that's okay. Um, we we'll back down to glide slope. Uh, yep. We have, we have a little more flaps we can add, but I don't like to go 40 flaps. It makes go arounds a little harder, um, unless we're doing like short field landings. Well, there's our red over white. Good airspeed, good altitude, landing's assured. Let's go power idle. Power idle. And keep the nose coming down. And pull it back. A little more back. That's all right. Tons times a charm. <laughs> um, okay, we'll go full power. Full we power. got flaps up, carb heats off. Speed's good. Yep. Traffic not available. 55. And let's do maybe a, um, let's do like a 65 climb out this time. 65, sure. Uh, Longmont on 2.9 and Erie on 1.6. There's kind of rising terrain as you're climbing out. And so we weren't escaping the ground nearly as quickly as we were climbing into the air because the ground was also kind of rising with us. So um, somewhere to, kind of between our placarded V, X and V, Y will get us a, a nice climb. I also like to do is I like to lift the wing a little bit. Okay, no one's on crosswind. I'm looking out. I lift the wing. I see no one's on crosswind. So now I'm turning crosswind. Um, you got the airplane back. Got the airplane? Oh, your airplane. We'll make another call. Longmont traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo. Uh, just the last three of our tail number. Left crosswind, runway 29, Longmont. Longmont traffic, 94 Echo. Uh uh, entering uh, left crosswind uh, 29 Longmont. Great, just like that. So we'll make our downwind turn here and then our downwind call. Longmont traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, entering left downwind for runway 29 Longmont. up on our uh, pattern altitude here. Visually and on ADSB traffic looks good still. And then we'll do our um, our C gumps again. All right, car beat. Yep. Gas, 1700. I mean, uh, yeah. Gas, uh, we're on both tanks. We got gas in the tanks. In the tanks, sure. Undercarriage, uh, down a welded. Mixture, uh, we already Smooth used. set. Uh, power. Power, 1700. Yep. All right, 1700. Cool. And then, um, the, the S of, of gumps is seat belts. Oh, and, and we got them on. Um, and then, yeah, we'll do 10 flaps. First notch comes in below 110. Yep, we're there. Um, and this time, let's try like maybe uh, 85, 75, 65. We'll come in a little faster. Um, I think that'll help us have a more pronounced flare. Okay. All right. So 65 on the final? Yeah. Okay. Um, we can turn base here. Long line traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, turning left base, uh, runway 29, long line. Nice. Yeah, all, it, all it takes is just a little bit of practice. I do it in the sims, but yeah. it's just like, this is, this is like, uh. <laughs> I know, and, and there's, there's everything going on. You're actually feeling the plane move. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, uh, flaps, uh. 
In flaps realizing. 20, there's flaps 20, and I got him coming straight to flaps 30. Thank you. Um, yeah, so one thing I forgot to mention is these pilot controlled lights, they'll, tur they'll turn themselves off after about 20 minutes or so. If you're doing pattern work, you have to continually remind the lights to stay on. Longmont traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, final 2-9, Longmont. Bit fast. Yeah. We got plenty of drag out, so we'll slow down in a hurry. Um, I think coming in a little faster will let us get into a flare. Landing is assured, I, I... Yep. Very good. We'll keep the nose coming down. And now we'll flare. Pull it back, and hold it right there a little more back. Hey, that was better. Um, I got flaps coming up. RP in. Yep, we'll go full power. Full power. There's 55, cool. We'll climb out 65. Traffic not available. 65. Well, actually, let's go for like a 70 climb. I think that's our closer to our VY. Cool. Cool, nice. Lift the wing, and then we can turn our crosswind. Uh, yeah, we'll do one more here. Sure. Fly my traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, cross, left crosswind, 2 niner, long one. Skyhawk 94 Echo, left downwind, 2 niner, long one. And then just kind of peri periodically through our flying, we'll just do a quick scan of, you know, across everything. Circuit breakers are still in, master switch is on, the hand meter is still showing zero or positive, right? Um, low voltage light is not on. We've got kind of lights and gauges the way they're supposed to be. Um, cool, and, um, this run was a little bit shorter, so starting kind of a beam that numbers 1-1, one, one, our BC gums, or our C gums, that by the time we're ready at 2-9, we're ready for landing. Right. We'll kind of cool. just save the boulder. Gas is on both, undercarriage welded. Yep. Make sure we got that uh, power 1700. Flaps. Ten degrees. Nice. And seatbelts are secured. Cool, and now we're beating the numbers and we're already heading downhill. And like nights where you have the pattern to yourself, configuring early and keeping a tight pattern, you can get, you know, one or two more landings in per hour. Um, just more practice. Okay, let's turn, uh, uh, we'll go out a little further. Here's probably our 45 point, we'll turn base here. Sure. Right here? Yep. Long line traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, turning left, base, 2 niner, long line. All right, 20 degrees? Yep. Uh, there we go. And these push to talk switches aren't like super easy on the hands. Yeah. <laughs> They're like a little spiky. Oh, 
turn final here. Kind of leave that final a little bit. Longmont traffic, Skyhook 94 Echo turning final 2-Niner. Longmont. Cool. Much better. I like okay. to uh, start my final turn a little earlier. And then if I need to shallow out the bank angle, the back, you know, the last third of the turn or whatever, um, to end up on final, we're just set up a little better for that. Um, cool, let's add just a touch of power to keep that speed up a little bit. I think that'll help with our flare. Looking pretty good right here. Good approach, good airspeed. Got red over white. Runway's assured, we'll go idle power. Idle power. And keep the nose coming down, keep it coming down, keep it coming down. All right, now flare. Air. And hold the nose up. Right, oh. Right, we'll just hold it kind of right here. There we go. I got flaps coming up. We'll go full carb heat. Frame the power. Very nice. Landing at night definitely has different challenges with the um, with the optical illusions. And we'll climb out at you know seventy or so, kind of VY for a while, and on our crosswind, we'll depart back to Boulder. Okay, sounds good. Get a picture for Dagmar if you don't mind. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, cool. <laughs> I think she called me. So we were on uh we were on the run up. Oh <laughs> Uh, so we're along my traffic, 94 Echo, left crosswind, departing south, last call. Along my traffic, Skyhawk 94 Echo, uh, turning left crosswind, last call. Straight off our nose, those two red tall lights. I got them. I think that's our smokestack over by the power plant by the Boulder Airport. Um, so we're done with the long month. We're switching back to practice area. That's kind of our go between. And then Boulder's 2272. 2272. And then I know our AWAS is still here. Because we didn't touch this, but you can read it. Four. You said you want to go straight in for two six. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Hey, cool. Winds three zero zero four, so it kind of supports our, you know, uh, wish of going in on two six anyway. Yeah. And uh, two nine or nine or nine or nine. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, north 
to south back into Boulder. They're over IDM, they're gonna join the downwind. And then right next to it is Boulder Reservoir, kind of okay. flat and gray. This, uh, this whole street or whatever highway, yeah. Yeah. That's, uh, we have to stay on the right of that, correct? Exactly, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's yeah, the yeah, I read that in the thing. Next, what we'll do is we'll go out this way. Out this way, sure. Um, we'll call it heading uh, 150. 150, sure. Do you want me to level off at any? Uh, uh, yes, yeah, 60, 65 or so. Sure. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to intercept the glide slope um, coming back into Boulder. Uh, we have a Pappy on 2-6. Let's just shoot an approach. Yeah, basically. <laughs> we, we actually don't have any shooting approach at Boulder. Oh, really? Which is a bummer. Um, but, you know, we have maybe three or four aircraft where you can set up a visual approach on the GPS and it'll give you a localizer to glide slope. Sky 2168 Delta. Or the visual. Two miles to the east of Burton at 7,300 feet descending down to 6,100, heading into four columns practice. And see this little like island of lights here? Yeah. That's also part of that neighborhood, so let's just go a little bit further. Um, maybe like 120 for a while. Gotcha.
is that sinking air that's coming over the, there's a little basin that the airport's up on. It's like flying an ILS. Yeah. Full landings assured. We'll go to idle power. Idle power. Keep it coming down. Now we'll flare. We just squeeze the nose back a little more and just hold it right there. Hold it exactly there. Don't let the Fine, just rolling down to the end of the runway. There's no rush to get off right now. I kind of think the aim. Let's see. Add. That shimmy's coming from the wheel, not from the nose. Or oh, okay. From the main, not the nose. Sometimes if you have some nose wheel shimmy, you just add a little back pressure, and you kind of lift the weight off the nose, and then when you put it back on, it straight straight itself back up. Traffic not available. Um, I kind of think the aim says that, you know, we're supposed to make our first available exit, but at that point we're going a little too fast that it, it's not necessarily reasonable to mash the brakes and try to get off Alpha 4. Um, the issue we run with that is we might, you know, hold the brakes and flat spot the tire and pop a tire, and now the runway's blocked instead of just rolling off to the end. For the practice, we'll taxi on the taxiway here. I'm adding a little bit of brake pressure there just to bring that wheel around. Then we're clear of the bar, so we'll call it. Hold the traffic 94 echo clear of T6. Um, and then the landing light is the right one. That one comes off. That was a lot brighter, kind of focus beam down the middle. I think that was the other airplane that was leaving at the same time as us. Uh, 9 at 3. Um, taxiing at night gets a little tricky. Right, we're, we're lucky with uh, that. 3, 5, 4, 7, uh, we're currently at the journey and we are taxiing to runway. Oh, okay, so that's not uh, 9 at 3. Typically for the flight school, we like to enter the ramp at Alpha 3 and we'll exit at Alpha 2. Um, it just kind of keeps the flow, kind of all going the same direction. You have a designated parking spot too, right? Switch off. That's this switch right here. Let me turn that one off. 